And I think we're not going to change that and we're not going to get out of this. And printing money to try to get out of the problem of overspending and corruption is going to lead to the same thing it always does, the devaluation of the currency. I think it means a lot of things for global currencies. I think are going to continue to weaken. Therefore, it actually has implications for Bitcoin, which remember, Bitcoin doesn't change. One Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. In this video interview, we join billionaire investor, hedge fund manager, and managing director of Morgan Creek Capital Management, Mark Yusko, as he discusses the significance of the Fitch debt downgrade that occurred mid-2023. Really? The debt rating system represents experts' opinions on the ability of the issuer of debt to repay said debt. A downgrade indicates that Fitch was no longer as confident in the ability of the US to service its debt, a declaration that is extremely unsettling. Experts are more afraid because it seems the US is slowly treading the same path as Japan, which is now over 250% debt to GDP. This doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. Mark explains that although the US is seemingly far away from Japan, as the US debt to GDP ratio currently sits at around 120%, he believes that the US, over a long enough time frame, is headed for the same place. He also explains the implementation of this for Bitcoin. Let's dive in. Long bonds were up 9% not that long ago, literally, you know, a couple months ago, and are now down 5% for the year after suffering one of their worst, if not the worst. It was definitely the worst for the 10 year. I'm not sure it was the worst for the 30 year last year. And I think there's a lot of sudden fear, and rightfully so, around this idea of, whoa, whoa wait a second. Default? What's this default word you're talking about? You know, the U.S. Treasury can't default. Well, it, it can, and it doesn't very often. So far, Mark has explained the debt downgrade and its significance. As Mark explained, the idea of debt default in regards to the U.S. seems impossible. But as he will explain in the upcoming sections of this video, another major superpower has towed this path, and that superpower, Japan, is currently facing a 260% debt-to-GDP ratio that many experts believe it will eventually default on. Let's watch the rest of the video as Mark elaborates on the subject and explains how crypto fits into all of this. And the real problem is as bad as the U.S. government budget deficit is, meaning interest on U.S. government debt now is bumping up against the highest level it has ever been. Now, you think about that, what does that mean? Well, we, we can't not pay the interest, right? Or then we, we default, which is what Fitch and, and others are, are you know, making subtle noises about. Well, we can't afford to pay the interest if rates, if we issued all the bonds at zero and now rates are five on their way maybe to six, how do we pay that interest? Well, this is what Japan has faced. And for years, their rates just stayed at zero. They just kept them at zero proclivity to spend isn't going away. But here's the here's the little problem, and, and Lynn Alden pointed this out, and I don't know if, if she sourced it or if she took it from someone else, it doesn't really matter, but, but she she's the one that I'm stealing it from. U.S. tax receipts just plunged to the lowest level ever. Not in dollars, but in rate of change. And that is bad, right? Because if you're spending too much and you're not bringing in enough revenue, what happens? Well, what Fitch says. In theory, you could default. Now, they're not going to default because that would be disastrous if the global risk-free asset suddenly had risk. But I think it means a lot of things for global currencies, I think, are going to continue to weaken. Therefore, it actually has implications for Bitcoin, which, remember, Bitcoin doesn't change. One Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. It's just the price that we price it in changes, the, the asset that we price it in changes. And those are all, I think, going to get worse, which means the value of things like gold and silver in this video, Mark Yusko has shed light on the situation of U.S. debt and why it's never been more pertinent to buy Bitcoin. He has explained that the supply and demand for U.S. bonds is simply unhealthy and will likely only worsen. This poor supply-to-demand ratio, in tandem with the growing debt-to-GDP ratio, is the major reason for the Fitch downgrade. Mark believes we're only headed down from here and that fiat currency will never recover. Other industry experts corroborate Mark's thesis, with many of them explaining that no modern state has ever recovered from being above 120% debt to GDP, which is currently where the US sits. 
This implies that the U.S. is dangerously close to the point of no return and might soon be facing insurmountable odds. How long do you think the U.S. will be able to hold on for, or do you think this crisis can be averted? To see the latest in crypto news, watch this video here.